Hello students, shall we begin our today's class? In, in the last class, we learned many question answers and four activities. Today, in this class, we will be learning the other activities. We learned four activities. Now, let's learn the fifth one. Activity 5. Imagine that after several years, the boy visits the place again. He notices that the place has changed a lot. It has become a tourist spot now. What could be the changes? Describe it in your own words. So, the boy in the story visits the place again. The place where the river is situated. So, when he reached there, he notices that the place has changed a lot. Why the place has changed? Because the place has become a tourist spot now. So, we need to describe the changes that occurred in the place. In our own words, we need to describe the changes occurred in that place in our own words. I will give you 15 minutes to write the answer of the activity 5. By Anand. So here we close to the letter by uh, writing, I wish you are also with me, dear Arun. I wish you are also with me. Hope to meet soon. Then signatory with regards, Anand. So you can write any names you want. Okay, that's how we write a letter. So you can also write in your own words a letter. Uh, a letter based on this topic now let's get to activity 10 activity 10 is not much important activity because it's uh, the activity 10 is to prepare a magazine on the topic save planet earth so we need to prepare a magazine on the topic save planet earth so we can include in the magazine poems posters stories slogans riddles descriptions paintings cards bird puzzles etc so we can include these all items in the magazine so the topic of the magazine is save planet earth so if you have any free time you can prepare a magazine on the topic save planet earth now let's get to activity 11 it is a very important activity activity 11 Find the words that convey the same idea and write them in the space provided. So, here they have tell us to find the words that convey the same idea. So, here they have given four word sums. So, one word sum they have given as two words which convey the same idea of the word walk so walk they have given march stride so these are the two words which convey the same idea of the word walk so we need to add more words which convey the same idea walk which which is nearly or the same meaning of the word walk so there are many words which convey which has the same or nearly the same meaning of the word walk so you can write step stroll tread like that these are some words which have nearly or the same meaning of the word walk now the next word is stop so which are the words that have nearly or the same meaning of the word stop yeah end close pause Finish. These are the some words which have nearly the same meaning of the word stop. Now ask. Ask. Request. Inquire. Question. 
that is these are some words now decide resolve confirm settle determine so these are some words which have the same meaning of the word decide so you should write the words which have nearly the same meaning of the word given below so walk march stride store step stop now next one stop and close pause finish now ask inquire request or question finish like that then decide yeah which are the words determine confirm agree settle like that so there are lots of word which includes the same meaning or nearly the same meaning or the exact meaning of the words so such words are called synonym so here near to that words they have given in a small box synonym a word or phrase which has same or nearly the same meaning as that of another word is called synonym so here we have here they have given us to complete the words which have nearly or the same meaning of the word given below so walk the word walk we can write step march stride like these these words are called synonym a word or phrase which has the same or nearly the same meaning as that of another word is called synonym so do you understand what a synonym a word or phrase which has same or nearly the same meaning as that of another word is called synonym now let's get to activity 12 activity 12 look at the following sentences so here they have given three sentences let's read the sentences a the boy walked along the path the boy walked along the path now b the steady boy walked along the stony path so in the word in the second sentences they have given a round mark for the word steady the steady boy walked along the stony path now see the young barefooted steady boy walked along the stony path the young barefooted steady boy walked along the stony path so what we uh, notice here young the sentence a is little bit short but on the sentence b it's they have added a one more describing word to the to the word one more describing word before the word boy study boy so on the sentence a they have just only written the boy walked along the path but on the sentence b they have written the study boy walked along the stony path and they have also given a describing word to the word path stony path so now look at this third sentence yeah they have given one more describing word to the word boy the young barefooted sturdy boy the young barefooted sturdy boy so such words are called describing words so the word sturdy the word young barefooted stony these all gives us more information about the boy and the path and they also describes more about the boy and the path so these words are called describing words now the we need to uh, so which sentence tell us more about the place and the boy that is our question one which sentence tell you more about the place and the boy okay i hope you got the answer of activity 5 now let's get to activity 6 activity 6 The boy notices a few placards and posters with slogans written by lovers of nature. Read the slogans. So, the boy in the story see a few saw a few 
placards and posters with slogans so these posters and placards are written by lovers of nature so let's read the slogans save trees save water save trees save water save trees help us breathe so these are the slogans written in the posters so from the above slogans what is the message conveyed what is the message conveyed in the above slogans the message conveyed is to conserve nature to survive so the message conveyed in the above slogans are to conserve nature to survive now the next question question number a in the activity 6 write two other slogans on the need to conserve nature write two other slogans on the need to conserve nature so what all slogans we can write yeah we can write save nature save for future generation save for future generation save nature save for future generation then we can write avoid plastic save trees then we can like write protect nature protect ourselves conserve nature continue living then let's be nature friendly like that you need to write two other slogans on the need to conserve nature okay did you write now question number b look at the poster against deforestation so here they have given a poster based on deforestation so let's read the poster lend a helping hand stop deforestation save nature do not cut trees no trees no man then they have given two pictures and illustration based on deforestation so these are the items included in the poster so the main there are main five things that we need to include while we are making a poster first one we need to include a title our poster should have a title then we need to include any slogans then we need to include illustrations illustration means pictures pictures that represent the title or the content of the poster then we need to include slogan instruction and message title illustration slogan instruction and then message so our question is what do you see in this poster here we, they have given a poster based on deforestation what all do you do you see in the poster write in the boxes given below so there are five boxes title illustration slogan instruction message so in these boxes we need to write which is the title given in the poster which is the illustration given in the poster which is the slogan given in the poster which is the instruction and which is, which is the message given in the poster so what what do you see in the poster which is the title given in the poster yeah lend a helping hand that is the title given in the poster lend a helping hand now illustration illustration is that pictures showing love for tree the first illustration is a picture of children's love for tree now the second picture is a picture of a damaged forest so these two are the pictures that the illustration given in the poster the first picture shows the children's love for tree and the second picture shows picture of a damaged forest now which is the slogan in the poster yeah no trees no man 
that is the slogan given in the poster now the instruction is do not cut trees that is the instruction given in the poster now message which is, what is the message that we get from the poster yeah stop deforestation save nature that is the message that we get from the poster and that is the message given in the poster so based on this activity and test papers or in exams you will have any activities to create a poster so when we create a poster so you can include a title in the poster then some illustrations based on the title illustration main pictures then you can include slogans instruction then you can also include a message in the poster now let's get to activity 7 activity 7 Imagine that the nature club of your school is going to conduct a poster making competition in connection with the World Environment Day. Prepare a poster for the competition. So, imagine that the nature club of your school is going to conduct a poster making competition. So, the poster making competition is in connection with the World Environment Day. so we need to prepare a poster in connection with the world environment day so here they have given a box with a picture a illustration of world environment day so we need to prepare a poster so in earlier we learned the things that we need to include in the poster we can include a title illustration slogan instruction then message so here they have given us the title we need to prepare the poster based on in connection with the world environment day so we can give the title as june 5 world environment day like that so next we need to include is the any illustrations or you can also include any message okay we can also Uh, create or we can also draw or paste some illustration on some pictures based on the world environment day then slog then we need to include slogans like we done earlier save nature save nature for future generations like that avoid plastic save trees then we can also include like protect nature protect ourselves So look at the poster here so you can also create poster like this I hope you can create a poster in connection with the world environment day now let's get to activity 8 Activity eight. Read the description about the boy in the story. How far is the river? So here is a description about the boy in the story. How far is the river? So they have given the description about the boy. So let's read. We have read this earlier in the chapter. The description about the boy. The features of the boy. So let's read. He was about 12 years old, a sturdy boy with untidy black hair and shining black eyes. He had fine features and a clear brown skin, but his hands and feet were rough and scratched. He was barefooted, not because he couldn't afford shoes, but because he liked the feel of warm stones and cool grass. So this is the description. given about the boy in the story how far is the river so now the question is question number a what are the words used to do describe the boy so in the given description which are the words that are used to describe the boy so here they have given so here they have given some clues to complete 
so first they have asked us how is his psyche how is his psyche so we have read that he is a sturdy boy so this word sturdy is his psyche so write in the in the space given near the psyche sturdy now how is his hair yeah and tidy black hair and tidy black hair now how is his eyes his high eyes are shining black eyes so his eyes are shining black eyes then how is his skin yeah he had fine features and a clear clear brown skin his skin is a clear brown skin now the last one hands and feet so they have given there how is his hands and how are his feet so his hands and feet were rough and scratched so how is his hands and feet yeah his hands and feet are rough and scratched so psych sturdy hair black hair untidy black hair eyes shining black eyes skin a clear brown skin hands and feet rough and scratched now question number b the boy meets a girl on his way to the river describe the girl following uh, describe the girl with reference to the following write it below so in the story we heard that the boy meets a girl on his way to the river so they have described a little bit features of the girl so here they have given three clues appearance attitude behavior we can also add one more there we can add how is her talk so appearance appearance attitude behavior talk so first how was her appearance yeah she was a 15 year old girl like that we can say maybe she will be not 15 year old so we don't know how much is she old so she's a girl and beautiful she's a girl she was a beautiful girl so she was a beautiful girl cutting grass so that was the appearance then what all we can see yeah she has a long thick hair her eyes are black and shining so these these are her appearance she is a beautiful girl cutting grass she has a long thick hair her eyes are black and shining then how is her attitude yeah she is talkative and smart that is her attitude then how is her uh, so we can also include the sentence she is talkative and smart in attitude and also in the talk she is uh, now how is her behavior she is really friendly but a little absent minded so these are the things that we can include when we describe the girl so the girl is a beautiful girl cutting grass she has a long thick hair her eyes are black and shining she is talky and smart she is really friendly but a little absent minded so like this we can describe the girl with the reference to appearance attitude behavior and talk now let's get to activity 9 activity 9 here is a letter written by anushka read and find how anushka has organized her letter so here is a letter written by anushka to her friend ammu so we need to observe how she has organized her letter so first she has written at her address so if who is the one sending the address the sender needs to write his address if you are writing the address you need to write your address there then next you need to write the date the date when you are writing this letter then now next you need to write salutation like dear ammu respectful madam like that you need to write salutation then body of letter then you need to write 
why you write this letter why you wrote this letter that is the body of letter now you need to close the letter closing like regards to all of here they have given is regards to all our friends there see you soon take care so that is a closing given here we need to also we when we are writing the letter we should also give a closing to the letter then last signatory so these are the items we need to include while we are writing a letter so that's how we write a letter so let's check how anushka has written her letter first sender's address anushka golden hills press road goa then date june 16 2014 then salutation dear ammo then body of the letter hope you are doing well i reached goa with my parents we are staying in a resort the weather here is really good we are planning to go to the beach and the church today i will send you the snaps after visiting all the places i wish you were also with me regards to all our friends there see you soon take care so that is the closing now signatory with regards sign anushka so that is the way how we write a letter now the question is the boy in the story how far is the river is thrilled after visiting the river he decides to write a letter to his friend to share his experience what would be the letter like so we need to write the letter of the boy's experience after visiting the river he is he decide to write a letter of his experience after visiting the river and he is sharing his experience to his friend so first you need to write your address so you can also write any address but it suitably you can write your address then date put the date okay now you need to write a salutation like dear arun dear appu in the above letter we heard the salutation dear ammu so you can write any uh, name here dear appu dear ammu dear anu like that now the body of the letter hope you are keeping fine last saturday i visited a river it was really a very thrilling experience i was alone i had no idea about the distance location and the way fortunately a woodcutter gave me sufficient information about all these the steep path was lonely but the sights were very impressive a girl on my way tried to mislead me but a village boy who accompanied me for some time was helpful towards the end of my journey i was totally tired and even thought of returning when i rounded a sharp bend i could hear a sudden roaring sound of the river thus i reached the river for the first time what a thrilling sight the beauty of nature the impressiveness of the silence of space the musical sound of the trickle of water etc or are all unforgettable dear arun i wish you also were with me hope to meet soon with regards by anand so you can write anand or appu or ar you can write any names you want now prep now activity 10 prepare a magazine on the topic say planet earth you can include the following items in your magazines poems posters stories slogans descriptions paintings cards word puzzles etc so activity 10 is not much important so activity 10 is to prepare a magazine on the topic say planet earth and they have given many items to include in the magazine so 
you can do this activity when you have any free times so this activity is not much important now let's get to activity 11 activity 11 find the words that convey the same idea and same idea and write them the space provided so here they have given four word sons in each word sons in the center of each word sons there they have written some words so we need to write the words which have same or nearly the same meaning of the words given in the center on the first they have given us walk. So we need to write same or nearly the same meaning of the word walk. So they have given two other examples which have nearly or the same meaning of the word walk. March stride. So there's these two are the other words which have same or nearly the same meaning of the word walk. Now what are the other words which have nearly the same meaning of the word walk? Yeah, step stroll tread like that now next one stop which are which are the words which have same or nearly the same meaning of the word stop yeah and close pause then we can write cease halt finish like that now next one ask which is which what all words are there which have same or nearly the same meaning of the word ask yeah, inquire, request, question, demand, like that. Now, next word is decide. So, determine, confirm, resolve, settle, etc. are the words which have same or nearly the same meaning of the word decide. So, a word or phrase which has the same or nearly the same meaning of the word of an another word is called synonym so now we done the the uh, things that we done is called synonyms the words like words which words or phrase which have same or nearly the same meaning of the word of an another word is called synonym so we write many synonym words now so you need to complete the word sons by writing the words which have same or nearly the same meaning of the words given in the center of the word son. So, do you understand what a synonym? Synonym are the words or phrase which has the same or nearly the same meaning as that of another word. Okay, now let's get to activity 12. Look at the following sentence. So, there they have given three sentences. The boy walked along the path. The steady boy walked along the stony path. The young barefooted steady boy walked along the stony path. So, what are the differences between these three sentences? So, the first word is very short. But the second word, they have added a describing word on the before the word boy a sturdy boy on the end they have added and describing word for the word path stony path sturdy boy stony path on the third they have added more describing words young barefooted sturdy boy young barefooted sturdy boy so which sentence tell you more about the place and the boy yeah the sentence C tells us more about the place and the boy. Now, second question is, circle the words that give more information. Circle the words that give more information. Which are the words that give us more information? Yeah, the words sturdy, young barefooted, stony. These all gives us more information. So, the words like describing words we now learned about describing words these describing words are called adjectives so we have learned it before on the last class what are adjectives so words which describe nouns or pronouns are termed as describing words or adjectives 
words which describes name or a noun or pronouns are termed as describing words or adjectives so do you understand what are adjectives now b here is an extract from the story how far is the river read it carefully so here they have given a paragraph from the story how far is the river so let's read the paragraph a trickle of water came from the hillside and the boys stopped to drink stopped to drink the water was cold and sharp but very refreshing however it seems to have the effect of making him more thirsty the sun was striking his side of the hill and the dusty path became hotter the stones scorching the boy's feet he was sure he had gone half way he had walked for an hour now pick out the describing words and naming words from the extract and stick them on the backs given below one each has been done for you now we need to pick out the describing words from the parag- describing words and naming words from the paragraph and we need to write in the two bags given below in the first bag they have written describing words and on the second bag they have written naming words so shall we write the describing words and naming words so which are the word which are the describing words yeah the word water was cold so the word cold is a describing word then sharp refreshing then thirsty dusty hotter so these are some describing words from the paragraph if there are more describing words you need to add them so cold sharp refreshing then thirsty dusty hotter now which are the naming words yeah words water sun hillside boy hill path stones feet hour so these are the naming words so these are the describing words and naming words from the paragraph now let's get activity 13 activity 13 read the description of the path and take note of the words in bold so here they have given a paragraph and they have given many words in bold so let's read the paragraph and find out the words written in bold the path to the river dropped steeply into the valley then rose and went round the big mountain It was frequently used by the villagers, the woodcutters, milkmen and mule drivers. But there were no villages beyond the mountain or near the river. So, which are the words given in bold? Yeah, the words to, into, round, by, beyond, near. So, these are the words given in bold letters. Look at the sentences. The path is... to the river drop steeply which word shows the relation between the path and the river yeah the word to the word to shows the relation between the path and the river words like to into beyond etc are called prepositions so the given paragraph there are many words like to into beyond round etc these words are called preposition a preposition joins a noun to another noun to an adjective or to a verb a preposition joins a noun to another noun to an adjective or to a verb so a preposition is a word used before a noun or pronoun to show place position time or method and also a preposition joins a noun to another noun to an adjective or to a verb so next question of activity 13 supply the missing prepositions on the sign board 
so here they have given six sign boards we need to complete the missing prepositions on the sign boards do not park dash double yellow lines don't drive dash in the park don't drive dash the park walk dash the right walk dash the left keep away dash wild animals highly inflammable handle dash care beware dash dogs so these are the signing sign boards so these sign boards we have read at many times on public places so we need to complete these sign boards by writing the propositions that we learned earlier so i hope you can complete the missing propositions on the sign boards now question number c of activity 13 look at the picture and write a paragraph using prepositions the first sentence is given for you so here they have given a picture we need to write a paragraph using prepositions so here they have given first sentence for us so whenever we are writing a paragraph or a description about a picture first we need to observe the picture and we need to take a note on the things included in the picture on the given picture what all are there yeah there are there is an old man sitting on a bench and there is a walking stick beside the old man then a girl is flying a kite then a boy is lying on the grass and writing with a pen then we can see two trees and the first tree the tree is protected by a fence and there are many birds uh, there are two birds in the tree then there's an other another tree behind the bench so there is a sign board in the given tree so these are things included in the picture so now let's write the description the, the paragraph using preposition an old man is sitting on a bench so that is the first sentence given there now let's write there is a walking stick beside the old man so the word beside is the preposition there is walking stick behind beside the old man not behind beside there is a walking stick beside the old man then we can write a girl is flying a kite in the park so the word in is the preposition the girl is flying a kite in the park a boy is lying on a on the grass writing with a pen a boy is lying on the grass writing with a pen so the word on and with is a preposition now we can write a bird is sitting on a tree so the we get the word on is the preposition then the tree is protected by a fence the the word by is a preposition then we can write there is a sign board on the tree behind the bench so these are the this is a paragraph we have written using a preposition an old man is sitting on a bench there's a walking stick beside the old man a girl is flying a kite in the park a boy is lying on the grass writing with a pen there is a bird is flying to a tree the tree is protected by a fence there is a sign board on the tree behind the bench so do you write the paragraph using preposition you you can draw or you can also write the paragraph is in proposition by on your own words so these are the things that we are learned in this class on the next class we'll be beginning a new 
chapter the chapter is a poem the echoing green that is our next chapter so we have so today you have many things to learn you mostly you have to learn adjectives synonym prepositions then you need to learn to make a poster then to write a letter so these are main things that you need to learn in today's class bye bye students see you all at the next class read the description box to watch all the parts of this video and to watch the next video subscribe to amwold and click the bell icon